So this is what you might see from above when you're about to strike gold. Um, it's been quite a day today. I found all sorts of wonderful things and these are only just popping up. Um, and I wanted to show them to you because if you happen to see anything like this when you're out walking, these are an absolute treat. Um, so let's pull one up. These are Cantharellus sibarius. Um, and these are chanterelles, or girole, the French call them. Um, they're one of my absolute favourite edible mushrooms. So delicate and beautiful. Um, and I think really quite easy to identify. So let's just walk through the, the basic identification features. They've got this gorgeous kind of soft yellow, egg yolk yellow. It's not brassy, it's not brash, it's not kind of shouty. Um, but it is very yellow and you can see it from a distance. Um, at this time of year, it's great because this tends to grow with silver birch in my experience. It can grow with all sorts. Uh, here we have uh, sweet chestnut, which I don't think is relevant, but we also have pine. I find it with pine and silver birch quite often. Um, I can't remember the list of things it associates with, but I can tell you that when it's growing with silver birch um, in the autumn, it's almost exactly the same colour as fallen silver birch leaves. So when you're looking for them in autumn, it really can be a string of disappointments <laughs> as you find leaf after leaf after leaf that's the right colour but isn't a chanterelle. Um, and the most obvious uh, feature of these is that they don't have true gills. So this is a lovely example. The gills on a chanterelle are what we call primitive gills. Now primitive gills means that they're not a separate uh, structure to the rest of the, the cap flesh. There are extensions of it that just are covered with uh, spore producing material. Um, so it almost looks like, if you look very carefully, oh, down in that right corner is a nice area, it just looks like someone's pushed the top of, of something that's kind of setting, like setting jelly or something, and it's just all wrinkled up. Or like cloth, I guess, like silk cloth. If you push one side of it, it just all wrinkles up. Um, and that's what it looks like to me. I know that sometimes people have difficulty differentiating these visually from true gills. Um, you can see they kind of almost just fade into the, the stipe. There's no line um, where the stipe ends and the gills begin. Um, they're very decurrent, so they, they run down the stipe. Um, what I'm going to do, reaching down into my basket, is I'm going to attempt to cut this in half with one hand. Um, I might need the other hand actually, because if you're not certain, um, a cross section is much easier to see that these are not separate things. Uh, let's cut it that way and that way. So, get this back in front of the camera. So you can see here that the cap flesh just carries on into what look like the gills. There's no line and then gills. There's no difference in colour really. There's not, uh, it's just not a separate structure. It's just wrinkles and you can see that at the bottom uh, it's like a, a curved valley rather than any sort of sharpness to it. Um, you can also see that the flesh of these is white. Um, it's a little bit yellow near the, the top of the cap, but it's it's white. And if you cut down the stipe, you can see that the stipe flesh is white. And that's quite a nice one as well. I think in, uh, there's something called Hygrophoropsis aurantiaca, I think, um, which is the uh, false chanterelle we know it as. Um, and that tends not to have such white flesh in the middle. And it does have gills that are separate flat tissue. Uh, separate structures that join onto the cap tissue. Um, the other thing, oh my gosh, it's so nice at this time of year. I can't always get it in autumn. It's a bit harder. But if you smell the cut flesh of, of chanterelles, I wish this was smell -a vision um, It's just the most gore, just kind of apricotty, fruity, sweet, amazing aroma. And I'm really excited that I found these today. 
little things hiding. I have no idea how big the patch is. I've literally just come across it. So I'm going to get off and uh, and see what else I can find. Um, and yeah, if you want to like and subscribe, that would be really helpful. If you find the videos helpful, um, feel free to tip me at uh, buy me a coffee. The link is below in the comment uh, in the description. Um, and if you're local to me, do feel free to to hit me up. I'm in Sussex, UK, and I'm running courses. Uh, enjoy your foraging. It's so exciting out here at the moment. <laughs>